Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have the Big Bat Box, which I think this might be the October one. I think they might be all caught up on their back orders, but you can see the Big Bat Box. $50 box, it's a customized box every month with a different picture of a different stadium. This month is featuring Angel Stadium out in Anaheim. That's one of the I think, nine stadiums that I've not yet been to that I'd like to visit one day. I like that side picture, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani talking there. Would have been nice to see what would have happened if Trout could have stayed healthy all season long with Otani's MVP-esque season. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I hope everybody's having a very nice Wednesday. I might do a double upload day today. I'm not exactly sure. I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also turn on your post notifications. So that when, if and when we do post two videos today, you'll get notified via the YouTube app as I try to get this bad boy opened up. There we go. All right, so first, let's take a look at the packs before we spoil a surprise by looking at the uh, the sell sheet. It looks like there's a bonus hit there, and here are the goodies, so to speak. We see a pack of Pro Debut Hobby. That has some good autograph odds in there. That's roughly one in six. I think, yeah, one in six chance of getting an auto. Four autographs in a 24-pack box, which is pretty awesome if you love your prospects. We also have a Heritage High Number Pack. Hobby pack as well. So two for two on the hobby packs. A hobby pack of series two from tops. And you always get a couple older packs. There's a 1989 uh, Bowman pack. It looks like there's a hit there. It looks like I sort of saw that one. I, I know the player. I don't know if it's a relic or not, though. You probably saw it as well. We'll save that for the end. The raffle prize information. They're doing a PSA 8 Derek Cheater autograph card. A David Ortiz autograph card. And a Reggie Jackson Signed card as well at the bigbatbox.com. There's a 90 Fleer pack in there. So those are our two older packs. We have a Topps Holiday pack. So that is from 2019, which is a pretty good one because there's a lot of decent rookies. You can see some of them on the front of the pack right there with Tatis and Vladdy and Pete Alonso. We get a Silver pack. We get a Diamond Kings pack from 2017. And we also get a Topps Chrome pack. So I believe these two would be considered retail. I'm not sure if this is it's probably retail as well since it's five cards. But uh, that is the haul for $49.99. So let's show you the sell sheet. It just goes through all the different hit odds that you can find in there. Um, and there's the raffle information and the Big Bat box. So this is actually the September box as they are just one month behind now and getting everything caught up to date. They also have... Some more um, stuff going on here. As you can see, there's some more stuff that they give away to their many, many subscribers that you could win. So let's go ahead and start off with the 1990 Fleer Pack. We'll do the older packs first. There's really nothing too crazy that we're going to find in here. I mean, at best, we might find a Sammy Sosa rookie card. Maybe we'll find one of those error cards like the George Brett Players of the Decade card, which says on the back that he had 10 390 seasons. If you're a find that card, make sure you read the back. It's a card that looks just like this. Ryan Sandberg's a Hall of Famer. And as expected, nothing too crazy to uh, get too pumped up about there. 89 Bowman is a little more exciting because you have a shot at a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. That gum also doesn't look that bad either. I almost uh, considered taking a bite of that gum. All right, so we've got Devon White there. Then we have a John Smoltz rookie card. Okay, so not too bad. John Smoltz rookie card. We'll take it. Hall of Famer. That's a reprint of Duke Snyder. And then we have, um, who's this? Uh, Andy Allenson, Mike Harkey. There's Damon Berryhill, Brian Downing. Then we have a Bill Long and Jose Canseco is the final card there. So... Hey, we got Smoltzy. All right, so let's go ahead and turn our attention to the newer packs, which is where the uh, the best chance of getting something valuable is going to fall. I'm going to start off here with Diamond Kings from 2017 and see what we've got going on in this bad boy. So here's the design. It looks like we got a couple old players, Will Myers. We've got a Max Scherzer Originals card and Charlie Blackman. Nothing too crazy there. Next, we'll do, I guess we'll do the high number pack and see if we can find the Luis Robert, which is the best card. I'm not sure if Logan Webb's in here or not, but I noticed that Logan Webb has a rookie card in Series 2, and now he, his cards are starting to really skyrocket up. So um, I know the $99 tier on my Patreon, I uh, put a fat pack of Series 2 every 
$99 tier will have two blaster boxes, which are Topps Chrome from 2021 and Series 2 from Topps 2021. A fat pack of... Um, Fat pack of the 2020 Series 2, looking for the Luis Robert Logan Webb, and six additional packs, which five of them are hobby packs. So here we go with our next pack. We're doing Series 2 right now. By the way, if you'd like to check us out on Patreon, you can look in the description. I've got a link there. And uh, thank you, everybody, for your consideration. If you do or you don't, just uh, glad to have you here. There's a nice Sam Huff 1986-style card. And nothing too crazy in the Series 2 pack, unfortunately. So we're down to just a few packs left. Four packs left in this $50 subscription box, which, honestly, it's one of the uh, it's one of the cheaper boxes out there. I guess the only box cheaper that, uh, that could compete with this is probably the Grand Slam Card Club. A lot of the boxes that we open here on the channel are probably around like $80 and up. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and do the Pro Debut Pack and see what we can find. Looking for an autograph. There's no Evie Marte. He's going to be a really nice one. Owen Cassie, 1991 Tops design. Aaron Sabata is a very nice prospect. And Austin Hendrick is a great prospect. You see a number 12 overall pick in the draft. A couple years ago, Victor Mesa Jr. Asa Lacey is a great one. So we've got a lot of great 1991 uh, style designs. Um, three first rounders, which is not too bad. Unfortunately, no autograph. We'll do our Chrome pack next. I believe this is a retail pack. But you can find some good stuff out of these every now and then. It looks like we do have a Josh Donaldson Prism Refractor. And we also have a Chris Bryant Pink as well. Two packs left, I guess. I'm going to save the 2019 Holiday Pack for last and hope that that has the Tatis of Vladdy, Pete Alonso, Aloy Jimenez. So here we go with the Silver Pack. we got a Larry Walker. Nick Castellanos, we've got a Verdugo, and unfortunately, no autograph. Usually the autographs in these silver packs are flipped upside down where this black border would be on the bottom. It's Mike Trout, so not a bad one right there. That actually is probably the most valuable card of the video so far, but that might change. We've got one more pack left. This is the 2019, oh, Juan Soto's on the back. That's his gold cup card. I'll take that one. Austin Riley rookie card. How about that one? That's a good start. Ron, wow, Ron Acuna Gold Cup. So already, the three cards we know in the pack, this is a winner of a pack. Acuna Gold Cup card. we got a Soto on the back. Let's see what else we can find. It's a Dom Smith, Michael Franco, Max Muncy. This is a Snowflake Parallel. You see the metallic Snowflake there. Jose Altuve, Machado. There's Christian Yelich, and the final card is the Gold Cup of Juan Soto. So two second-year cards of Acuna and Soto, which is not too bad at all. And Austin Riley, rookie card, also in the pack. We'll take that. Now, they give you an extra hit. Uh, I believe they even let you choose your favorite team. At least it says that on their website. And they gave us an extra hit of the following. Wow, it's an A-Rod. An A-Rod 500th career home run. Moments and milestones is that a game used relic or is it just a card? It's it's a blue jersey. Let's check it out. Um, I'm not sure if this is a relic or not. What is that? Doesn't say anything about like player worn or anything like that. So I can't. I don't know what the heck that is. It's some sort of material. You can see there's almost like plastic over it. It might just be part of the design of the card. A Rod 500th home run might be kind of. Uh, I don't know if I'd consider that a relic or not. It's called an insert card. And our final card, it's going to be a Josh Bell uh, Chrome Gypsy Queen Chrome card as the final one. So that's the Big Bat Box, everybody. Hope you guys like that. Look at it. Uh, you can check them out at thebigbatbox.com. Unfortunately, no hits in there, but we did get two nice, brave rookie cards, John Smoltz and Austin Riley. So that'll do it for this video. I'm thinking about... Got a couple other videos coming your way. I might do a double upload day since this video was extra short. No live stream today. I know it's Wednesday. Tops update was supposed to come out today, but it has been pushed back. So our next live stream, I think we might do an auction tomorrow. The next new release looks like it's going to be maybe five star coming in about a week. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you later. Good night, everybody.